Hello, my name is Andrew Mercer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about your index finger and how to make it sit in the right place and get the best results from your violin bow. So, your first finger, your index finger on your violin bow is probably the most important finger because that's where most of your articulation comes from. All the personality, all the louds and softs, and all the nuances you want to put in your music comes mainly through that first finger. So you want to make sure you get a really good first finger set up on that bow so that you can get all the, all the music you can out of that. So here's a few things that's going to help you out. First of all, uh, I'm working in the mirror here, and I would advise you guys to do the same because the mirror is going to give you a different perspective on how you see your hands. So please practice in front of a mirror whenever possible. So first of all, where should your bow hold, where should your, your, your index finger sit on the stick? Well, it should stick, stick, sit somewhere around the second knuckle. Okay, it's the second knuckle. And I say somewhere around because you'll find sometimes you'll be a little bit ab above the second knuckle, closer to the third. Sometimes you'll find you'll be below the second knuckle, closer to the first. So it, it will move around as you go through your bowling. It will. As you go down towards the tip, you may find that you are closer, you're up higher than your second knuckle. And as you go closer to the frog, you may find you're lower than your second knuckle. Personal preference, you guys will find out how to do that. You, you'll, you'll see what works best for you as you play. So you're, you need to make sure it's, a, it's sitting there, relaxed, on the, on the lapping. You don't want to have too much of a space between the, the, your, your first finger and your second finger. Oftentimes I see people do this kind of thing, pointing. Nah, you don't want to do that. You want to have it nice and relaxed, so it just has a nice curve to it. You know, a nice relaxed curve. If you, if you shake your hand out, you know, just kind of let it hang in front of you like that, that's pretty much the shape you want to have in your bow hole anyway. If I just did that, shake my hand out, you know, that's the kind of shape you want anyway. So your, your first finger sits on that stick very naturally. Now, um, and be careful, don't grip. As you're playing the violin, you are going to, uh, you're going to be applying pressure to the bow from time to time. You're going to want a little more weight in the bow, especially when your place is near the tip, or, or I should say, beyond the balance point. And the balance point is somewhere, well, around here on my bow, somewhere around here. So as you go above the balance point up in this area, you're going to have to apply pressure from your first finger of your thumb in order to get the, the consistent sound you want. So, uh, how do we do that? Well, your first finger and your thumb are, are very closely tied together. If you think about your thumb as being the center of a teeter-totter, uh, and your first finger is, is one person on one end of the teeter-totter, it would be tipping over and, and making the, the, uh, the teeter-totter tip over. Your pinky would be the other person on the other end. So they would be twisting back and forth. And that twisting motion uh, with the, the fulcrum or the center, the pivot point being your thumb, your, your first finger, the pressure will go down this side into it. Um, so think about it this way. If, almost like if you had a, uh, a bottle of pop or a big glass of water and you were, you, were tipping, you were tipping your hand to tip that out. That's the motion we want as you apply pressure through your first finger into the bow. So you'll find that you're, 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 uh, you will be pressing down on that second knuckle quite often. And you're not pressing down as like pressing down like this. It's more of a twisting. It's a twisting. As I say, like you're tipping a bottle of pop. So you're going to be twisting your hand, your arm, into the bow that way. So the bow will press, will press down onto the, the violin strings that way. So more pressure is more twist. Less pressure is less twist. But it's important that your thumb stays bent below and is relaxed but your first finger is able to twist into it and not have the thumb give. And everything should stay nice and relaxed and, and, uh, and curved the whole time. So your first finger, just to recap, it should be a nice and relaxed bent finger over, that, over the stick. Should be a, maybe a little space between the first finger and the second finger. They're like that, a little bit of space. Your first finger should be, uh, it, it, think of it as a teeter-totter. It's uh, one person on one end of the teeter-totter your pinky would be the other person, and the center, the fulcrum, or the pivot point would be your, your thumb. And as you twist your hand, you're able to apply pressure down through your first finger. So your first finger will be applying that pressure through that twist of your arm into the string. So there you go. That's basically to get you started on the first finger. 
Um, good luck with it. If you have any comments, uh, any, anything you'd like for me to comment on myself, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Please like if you like and uh, the video and uh, subscribe. So uh, good luck with it and I'll see you next time.